We have a podcast, Suburb Talk, and they ask a question, and real quick, let me see the, you can move that, get that pop-up out of the way, Ian, so I can see the title of the TikTok. So, would you let your homies cheat on their girlfriends and never say anything to them about it? So, pretty much, I'm trying to expand it to, why don't guys hold their friends accountable? So, real quick, let's watch the TikTok, and then let's dive into it. How many shares of my girlfriend do you own? What'd you say? I said, how many shares of my girlfriend do you own? How many shares of my girlfriend do you own? <laughs> do you have majority vote, bro? I don't know. <laughs> like, guys are more, like, they protect their friendship more. Like, they have their <coughs> bros back no matter what. Like, y'all have, like, that brotherhood or bro whatever. Code. Sometimes it's, like, a little too far. Because, dude, I... Like, y'all would see your homeboy cheating. Oh, okay, so you take it. And then it. you guys oh. will, like, cheer him on or whatever and, like, won't call him out for I it. I wouldn't fuck with that. I don't think I'd ever just you guys down and put I don't him on the think, spot. No, Unless you're dating my sister, then I'm like, I what the If I know the girl, oh, dude, this is hard. I don't think I would let you cheat, though. You don't, you don't have down. to, like, snitch on I him. I would. You can, like, talk to him. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I would no, exactly snitch on you. No, why would you not talk to him about it? It ain't my business. It ain't my business. Most men are like that. It ain't my business. What if... What if? Why would I come up to either of y'all, sit y'all down, and be like, "Bro, why the fuck are you cheating? It ain't my business. That that's your, right. that's your shit. <laughs> I don't right. give a fuck." That's true. You should call us. But no, okay, no, no. what you're gonna say though? No, hey, boy, bro, you really... no, 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 yeah. Carrie. But no, I thought I'd smack the shit out of Carrie okay, if you did but that. If, <laughs> when you guys is dating you sister, or you yeah. or my sister, that yeah. those that's three different. and my mom Feel and maybe my grandma, those four are probably like the only exceptions. And I'm gonna be like, "Bro, what the fuck is your issue? Unless she's my best, like my." Best, That's what best I was saying. Friend. I think I would yeah. have to just know her. I'm confronting your ass. Yeah. I'm sorry. If I'm cheating, period. Yeah. No if matter I, who if it I is. I know, and yeah, no you're like is. in the fall. Yeah. I'm being cautious about you. Say you get caught, bro. Like I'm just worried. Like, like, <laughs> what? She's gonna beat the fuck out of me? What do you mean? Okay, let's say this. Like your girls girlfriend, she has watching, boys. Bro. That would pause it. And I knew that. I'd be like, I said those girls are actively watching bro code happen. Yeah, they really are. Let's finish. I think that's enough. Nick, honestly, Nick, we, get, we get we get it right here. I guess that just goes down to bro code. Like, I don't think I don't think I've ever sat down a friend and talked to a friend about the cheating. And if he ever was cheating, I think verbatim I've just said like, bro, just don't get caught. Like, be careful about this. Be smart about this. Like, just just don't be dumb at. Like, you're being dumb cheating. Period. But if you're going to do it, don't be dumb about it. And it I, is that toxic? <clears throat> Probably, I guess. I I'm not, I wouldn't say it's not toxic. Um, I if I've been approached that my friend is cheating or whatever, I've always just been like, you know, I kind of just listen and kind of don't be reactive. Kind of don't say yay or nay or anything like that. Just kind of keep quiet or whatever. And then um, I always do. You know me. I'm a devil's advocate, so I always goddamn. I That's just have to let you know your risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it worth risk assessment? So is it is is it? I I do ask that question. You know, is it worth it? Is that is, you know what I'm saying? If you, then if you feel like it's worth it, well, hey man, then just either do let you? it go. But I just had to tell you that as your friend. And then after that, after I do my due diligence as your friend, then it's uh, do you need like that's on you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> like, that's on you. Like I'm not. But I, I've said how I feel about it. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I have said how I, I feel about it, so. I feel like that goes with any friendship th with guys. Like, <clears throat> but I'm always going to say how I feel about it. I also but I'm not gonna... don't want to, this isn't a guy thing. What do you mean? Girls do this shit, too. Oh, so for like, sure. So, like, I'm not, I'm not he here for that. Her just putting it on guys. That's a human being thing. Like, that's a friendship thing. We're not friends with the people that well, you're dating. Real so, quick, it real automatically. Quick. I don't think, she, I think, she, I think. Her thing wasn't as a whole just the whole cheating thing. I think she's using it as an example. I wasn't just, just talking about the cheating thing. I think she just means specifically like when it comes to guys. Like, cause I think that is true amongst guys. Maybe it is true for girls too. It is. But they prioritize the friendship no. sometimes over. No. No. I do not believe girl. Girls will be oh oh girl. She gonna say the same shit. Girl, make sure you don't get caught. You don't want to lose blank blank blank. If, if if is it worth it? Da, 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 da. They might say the same thing, but they still gonna help. What the fuck? Unless the girl wants the guy, and vice versa with a guy that. too. Like, yeah. you're still gonna. Help. I just think friends are gonna be like that for friends. That's so it's just, just a, a friend thing. It's I not think a guy, that's just girl a, friend, it's a friend, thing. friend thing. Cause she's sitting there, but she would want. No matter what she says, she would want the same from her friend. She would want the same from her friend. But to no, call her out or to no, help facilitate both. her or keep her mouth shut. Both. Don't snitch. Yeah, exactly. All of the above. Be loyal. Be a loyal friend. <clears throat> but me, I say my piece, and then like, I also tell you, who the fuck am I 
why does my opinion even matter? I say that shit all the time. Like, so I think the I only time I've ever cheered somebody on for, you know, for racking up their number is when they're single. Like, I've never yeah, been not... like, yeah, bro, you're married. Go get her. Like, yeah. yeah. I also think, never like, fucking done yeah, that. I agree. Never. I agree. And then, like, any friend that I've had, like, brag to me about them cheating. I've never experienced I've... that either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just seems weird to me. It's an awkward conversation because you're automatically putting my morals. You're automatically saying you think that I'm cool with that type of thing. Yeah. And so, like, anytime I've been approached with, like, a friend bragging about cheating, it'll be like, I'm not, I just don't respond. Like, I I really just, also, I don't think about, bragging about conquest ain't even a thing for me, to be honest with you anymore. Like, even if you're single. Even if you were, that's something you do when you're in high school. Maybe. Yeah, like, I remember but, like, high school, like, you brag about it, but, like, once you, the older you get, it's, like, not something you really oh, brag about. Oh, I just about. bag this girl, and then yeah. you show me on Instagram or something like that. It's, it's it's cool, I guess, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it's just not a normal conversation for me. So, as far as, like, me being supportive of cheating, no, and then, like, well, it's not even a supportive thing. Her whole thing was just we just as as in her perspective, we don't guys, call each other we just out. don't call each other out. Which yeah, I I also which I also disagree with. Yeah, we do, we do I call disagree each other with out. That it's just completely. not in the way I think she would want us to. Like like She wants us to stop each other from doing it. Yeah. I need to physically stop you from cheating because that means that or if I don't stop shun, you from cheating. Shame. Yeah. You should no longer be friends with a so, cheater. Yeah. But then also this is my thing, Gene. A sin is a sin is a sin is a sin. First off, y'all want to talk like that. Marriage is a different thing from dating. And I I do believe in exclusivity while dating. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you want to say that uh, uh, him cheating is bad, or therefore he should no longer be friends with him, there'd be a million reasons for everybody, not just men and, and, and men, women, they, them, whatever the fuck, to not be friends because we're all imperfect. We all have our own little shits. So, like, at that end, we we wouldn't have friends. We all just our shits are unique. Yeah, we all are. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as, like, cutting people off or shunning people or wanting to dinner because of them, why do I care about that guy's relationship with the girl? I could be wrong, but I think the top comment right here might be her. I'm probably wrong here. But it says real friends say something and keep you in check. What do you mean keep you in check? But look, what if you're what? And I'm not condoning cheating, but Moral I'm just saying question. literally. What is the purpose of me making sure your relationship works? I, I, no, I'm right there with you. I'm, <clears throat> like, why is that part of my responsibility? If you have, if you want some insight, then yes, I will tell you in that moment. Probably because you cheated, or probably because you're cheating, dude. Like, if you want to know why your relationship is bad, it's because you're cheating. And like, you're not fully in this. And you think, but it's not my responsibility to check you and tell you, like, like. Boom. You know, you just said it too. For example, if the guy gets caught cheating, right, and he comes back to the homies and he's like, "Yo, I got man. I don't understand why she left me. I don't understand. She just, she just selfish. I don't understand why she left me. I just, and he's been telling us that he's been cheating the whole time. <laughs> you don't think we're gonna say something? We gonna say nigga because you been cheating, you cheating bro. Dog, what are you what talking you about? You got caught. Why ain't you it? mad for? That's what happened. You probably got so, caught. I'll go call as, Cindy up, bro. Like as far as holding each other accountable. Whereas, honestly speaking, I feel like it'd be more of a, a, a feminine thing to actually excuse some of it because the girl is distressed. Like I'm not gonna excuse that fact that my homie was cheating because he's sad that his girl broke up with him. I'm gonna still say it no matter what he's feeling at the moment. I'm be like, yo, she was cheating. Just cheating. Like, I might even laugh a little bit because, like, that's karma. That's just how the that's, world works. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I would laugh for sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and he's sitting here crying, talking about he don't know what she did. That's, really crying, that's hilarious bro. You know to you're me. Doing. It, exactly. It's but hilarious. Another exactly. girl, another girl, Got I would hope. Slipping. I would hope that girl, so this is just me, I guess, stereotyping and generalizing. I would hope that girls would say, yeah, girls, because you cheated. No, instead they prioritize. I agree with you. They prioritize the emotions the emotion. because she's upset that she got caught cheating. The girls, instead of – well, because well, you cheated, they would try to console her. They'll prioritize the empathy and all They'll that stuff. Say, well, I, I agree with that personally. You only cheated because of – Yeah, they try to rationalize it. I agree with you. A person I do. And we're probably jaded, but and, I agree with that. And that's a real question if you're actually talking about this. Um, men, if she wants to talk about the difference between men and women there, men don't rationalize cheating. Amongst men, there probably are some. I'm uh, sure. I, I can't think of it right now. But in general, why? Because she's pretty. She's what? 
Like, they, they think about it. Why'd you cheat? Because she was pretty. Like, and that's just between it, boys. Yeah, yeah, like, between boys. Like, why'd you cheat, dude? Bro, she was hot. They're not going to even tell you nothing about that girlfriend. It wasn't. Really? Huh. Yeah. I, uh, some of the interactions. About it. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Cause I, some of the, go on, Doc. I feel like building up to cheating or, like, seeing your friend cheat, like, you start seeing the signs of, like, oh, man, he, like, his relationship's going south. They're like, you okay, man? And then you Nigga, see them go, like, It's people cheating in completely happy it. homes. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you're, you're actually openly, like, talking to each other and shit like that, you'll start hearing, like, complaints and stuff like that. And then eventually, I, I don't expect them to be like, yo, I think I'm going to cheat. Like, I don't ever... If I heard that, I'd be like, well, why? Like, what's the cause? What do you do? Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Because that's not how men act. Yeah, I think if they just did it, then I'd be like, dude, for real, man? Like, was that really the best? It's always kind of an aftermath situation. Because we don't put that much into the cheating. I guess you're right then. You're right right on that. Because I was thinking about, like, I can visually see it, but it's not until I I get asked for advice Mm -hmm. or... That's different. That situation, then I, I don't say anything. So, so that's what I'm even saying. Even if the guy is amongst, and I'm talking about the conversation specifically, not actually what's going on internally in the guy who's cheating. So, like, the, the conversation between the guy and his friends would be like, oh, why'd you cheat? Uh, or not even, because the question wouldn't even be, why'd you cheat? Oh, why'd you, you know what I'm saying, smash? Or and he'll probably tell you, oh, I didn't expect it. Or, you know, we ended up at this hotel. Or whatever story he's going to tell you. But it's going to be about the night. It's going to be about his interaction with the girl. Nine times out of ten, they don't bring up he the won't girlfriend. bring up the girlfriend. He'll ch- Chances are he'll only bring up the girlfriend if he's specifically talking about his actual relationship. So, like, it would be like, after talking about the cheating, you'd be like, damn. If you ask him a follow-up question, like, that involved his girlfriend, why did you do that to your girlfriend? Then the guy would be like, this and this is going on, this and that is going on. He'd try and probably reverse and justify it there. But most of the time I've ever heard guys cheat, like they've never talked to me about like, oh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. It was never anything like I'm just doing this to spite my girlfriend type of thing. Or just a weak, basically a weak moment of love. But also I've never spoken to any no, that's not, that's not true. I've spoken to a couple of girls who have cheated. And most of the time, it's the Because boyfriend. of the boyfriend. They 100%. have an excuse because he wasn't giving me enough tension. He Abusive, wasn't whatever some, it yeah, is. Yeah, whatever it is. It's from just, the dramatic to, mm-hmm. or not justifiable to unjustifiable. Yeah, like they're, 100%. But it normally rotates around. And I'm not saying that to be so, selfish. So do you think, do you think girls premeditate cheating and guys yes. just kind of stumble into it? Yes, I do. To guys, a degree, guys do premeditate cheating to a certain extent. Yeah, I think yeah, generally I guys stumble into it. I think it's a majority guys stumble, minority uh, premeditate it. Opportunistic guys opportunistically yeah. cheat more than they actually uh, premeditatedly cheat. If that's the proper way to word yeah. it, whereas girls premeditatedly cheat more than they opportunistically cheat. I'll just say, uh, I, I won't even use it like girls I, are smarter I, about girls, it. Like. I, yeah, I'll just say girls are more invested. I believe, and this is just an opinion. Girls are more invested when they cheat than guys are to when they cheat. As in, the investment into the cheating is a little bit less for the guy. Like, well, because guys can honestly, guys can sleep with anyone. Literally, I could guys see a girl walking down the street and they're down to down to have sex. Whereas girls, it's not like that. Like, girls aren't just gonna have sex with just some random guy down the street. They gotta. Take me out to dinner. Show me a good time. You got to talk to me. Get to know to me. Like, there's a process to it, which is which is why I made the argument past podcast that girls cheat is worse than guys cheating. Personally. I actually think that might also be why, like, we don't talk about it before we do it. Because to me, like, when I see a guy, like, you know, even though he's got a girlfriend or a wife, and I see him kind of eyeing a different girl or, like, macking her, I'm just like, oh, like, he's just, he's just being a guy. Like, he's just, like, you know he's just sexually aroused like I don't he's think appreciating he's her cheat. beauty yeah like i don't think he's actually gonna cheat or anything like that so i don't really stop him afterwards and be the like, chance. yeah i don't stop him and be like dude what what the fuck was that huh huh you have a girlfriend like what what it, it, to me it's just like oh he, he just he's controlling his emotions like he's good but if he tells me hey i need help then fuck yeah i'll jump in and be like all right man let's get her, get you away from her i guess correct all right. My last thing I just want to say is the whole keep you in check thing is just weird to me. Like, that's not a friendship. My In a friendship, you're not supposed to keep me in check. Maybe, it, I, I don't even want to say accountable. It's just if I come out to you, then yes, give me your opinion, blah, blah, blah. But you're, like, we're not in a 
romantic relationship. Like you're not, you're like, not raising me either. Exactly. Like that. That. That's. 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 A, that's weird. That is weird. Does that have to pull you to the check? First off, if any of my homies, if I ever pulled any of my homies to the side and was like, dude, I just got to talk to you, man. I don't think what you're doing to your girlfriend is really right. Da, 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 da. Do you know what they're gonna? Do you know what they're gonna say to me? Get the fuck out of my face! They're gonna say, "What do you have going on with my girlfriend?" Good point. That's actually a good point. Yeah. Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Yep. You invested in her feeling. That's that's uh, us. That's, that's us. Yo, you made it to the end. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching Fake Deep Thinking. Uh, if you like the show, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. We really appreciate everything and appreciate you. So take it easy. Peace. Peace. Have a good day.